Chevys cost less at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Save on new Silverado 1500, 2500 heavy duty, and 3500 heavy duty trucks. Shop online at jackburford.com. Jack Burford Chevrolet, where Chevys cost less. It's Halloween Eve and time to eat lots of candy. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Tuesday afternoon news brief. Ghouls and goblins will be appearing sooner than expected tonight. Due to predicted heavy rain for Halloween night, trick-or-treaters will begin appearing tonight as opposed to tomorrow in central Kentucky. Trick-or-treat will be from 6 to 8 p.m. The little goblins and ghouls should wear light-colored, loose-fitting costumes and reflective tape and carry a flashlight as well as always being in the company of an adult. An armed robbery suspect is currently being sought here in Madison County. According to Bria Police, after midnight this morning, a male suspect entered the Shell station on Peggy Flat Road and grabbed items as if to make a purchase. He then procured a handgun from his coat and demanded money from the cashier, and they complied. The suspect, according to police, left the scene in a red minivan or SUV and went towards I-75. At the moment, he has not been located. Anyone with information is asked to contact local law enforcement. After being seen on surveillance footage allegedly using forged checks, a Lexington man was taken to custody in Richmond recently. 27-year-old Joshua Schindler is now charged with theft by deception and two counts of first-degree criminal possession of a forged instrument. The warrant states that Schindler entered a bank with a check made out to him for nearly $3,000 from Century 21 Realty. However, after receiving the cash from this check, he then proceeded to another bank with a check from the same realty business for $5,000. The company was contacted and it was confirmed that the check was forged. Schindler was arrested at a bank location on the bypass and lodged in the detention center. Traffic shifts are expected in Rockcastle County as the continued $80 million widening of Interstate 75 progresses. According to the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, the shift of lanes will begin this Saturday, November 3rd. The current lanes will switch the two inside lanes between mile markers 64.5 to 59. Speed limits will also be reduced during this time in the area and motorists are asked to pay special attention to signage. However, the shifts may be changed dependent on weather or other delays. The project is seeking to widen the entire section of I-75 from four to six lanes heading in both directions on the interstate. The completion date for the area from mile point 64.5 to 55.7 is set for October of 2020. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.